Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. We're in my laundry room today. Why? Because today we are trying. A lot of you guys voted for me to try this on my Facebook page. So guess what we're doing from within my dryer. We're cleaning out some lint, folks. Here I am delivering the goods. Now this thing has been around for a very long time. I think it's been around for over six years. Now they're releasing it again, I think, and rebranding it under Bulbhead. It retails for $14.95, but here's a little insider trick. And it's not really an insider trick. Anybody can probably figure this out. On the Bulbhead website, this product is $14.99 plus the normal shipping and handling that they charge. The thing is, I picked this guy up at Bed Bath & Beyond for $9.99 and I had my 20% coupon, so I paid like seven or eight bucks for it. Pretty good, right? That's half the price that Bulbhead is selling it for on their website. So I would say, go get it at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm just saying, you can pay regular price if you want. I'm just giving the tips for those that want to save a little money. Now, if you're watching this six months, two years from when I originally posted it. Don't leave me a comment about Vivian. It's not that price anymore. Well, duh, things go up and down. So please be aware of the date of this video and when I'm telling you these prices. Just wanted to put that disclaimer out because you know somebody in two years is gonna leave me a comment and go, no, that ain't no 999. And you just go, really, sir? That video is two years ago. Look at the date on the video. Not everybody's tech savvy, so I gotta say these things. For those who do not know what a lint lizard is, which I had not heard of this until about a week ago, it is like this tube thing that you put down your laundry vent and it sucked out all the lint. Is this called a vent? Yeah, right? The lint holder thing. It's probably not called a vent but there is lint. I'm just rapping today because I'm saying lint and vent and vent and lint. And now I'm Dr. Seuss. It looks pretty cool and I think a lot of people can use this thing. And it's been around for six years for a reason. It is something that we could all use. You know, there are some gadgets out there that are just junk that you buy and you never use again. I mean, this is probably one of those things too, but it is useful. My husband has to remind me that I need to clean this thing out every single time that I dry clothes. I don't do it every time. I ignore him sometimes. But that's very dangerous because that infomercial for Bulbhead said there are 16,000 house fires every year caused by it. They said the same thing in the infomercial they made six years ago. It can start a dangerous bed fire. So I'm saying it's holding steady at that 16,000. Not too bad. I mean, not good, but it's not getting worse. So maybe this is helping. I don't know. It's just staying at a steady 16,000. You would have thought they would have updated that data in that infomercial, but they didn't. I'm just pointing that out, okay? There could be a house fire, so you always need to make sure that your lint holder thing, basket, is clean every time. And this little thing is going to help us make sure this is squeaky clean. But you also need your vacuum, not just this, because you need to attach this to your vacuum cleaner in order to suck it all out, okay? So it's really a vacuum attachment is really what it is. I'm not only going to suck out the lint from my dryer, I also have another cool gadget that my neighbor let me borrow and I'm so excited because this officially makes me a professional and no, I gotta take care of it because you can obviously tell that my neighbor loves this thing because he takes good care of it. But look at it. You know what this is? It's a camera. Yeah, look. Uh, you probably can't see it, but in the infomercial, they use one of these. Look, it has a little screen right there, and we're going to be able to see inside the lint hole. We gotta get a name for this thing, a lint basket. We're gonna be able to see inside the lint basket to see if the lint lizard sucked out all the junk. Because in the infomercial they say that it goes back to factory clean. I don't know about that, uh, but hopefully, listen, I'm not gonna doubt you, but this little screen will let us look all the way in there. Tell me I'm not a professional. This thing is called an inspection camera. 
I believe is what he told me, an inspection camera to inspect small areas. This thing is not only good for lint baskets or lint holes, but also for like air conditioning vents or maybe pipes. I think plumbers use this. A lot of people use this. They gotta look into like really small areas. They pull out this thing and then they look in there. See, now I'm certified. Cause all I do is I just normally take this little thingy out and I just scrunch up all the lint and then throw it away. When you look in there, it's nasty. I'm not gonna lie. Whatever's in there is probably not good. So I'm excited. I think this thing, if it works, it's really gonna come in handy and I will be using it a lot because it scared me. That infomercial with the 16,000 house fires every year, y'all better check y'all's lens. First, we're gonna put the little camera in there, do a before shot of my nastiness. Then we'll try out the lint lizard and then we'll check it again to see how clean the pipes are. We're cleaning pipes today. They're not pipes, but the lint pipes, that's what we're gonna call them. Is that, is that even a, is that a thing? Am I offending somebody? Did I send, is that wrong? No? Did they just demonetize my video for saying cleaning lint pipes out? Maybe, but just go with it. And this thing is pretty easy to use. So if you want to buy one, you should. I know they're kind of pricey. That's why I had to borrow from my neighbor. I ain't gonna buy this. I just go over there and be like, hey, can I borrow that thing again? <laughs> it's so nice. Don't let you borrow it. So we're gonna turn it on. Bam, you see it has a light and everything. How fancy is this? I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you can. Oh, okay, look, look, look. Okay, don't judge my shit, okay? <laughs> okay, so look. Ew. Okay, look at my lint. Oh, Vivian, you look dirty. So that was our shot, actually. I could hook this up to a bigger monitor so you guys can see a little bit better. You wanna try that? Let's try it. Cause you guys know, I'm always trying to make sure I got the best shot for you guys. <laughs> no, she didn't just bust out with a big old TV on her back. Yes, I did. Cause I wanna make sure y'all see this. I, I'm working with a really tiny space today. So I'm like holding everything in my hands. I'm just like, I do too much. I'm so extra. I told y'all, I always do too much because I care about y'all. I wanna make sure you guys get as much information as you need. Y'all need to be educated for consumers like me. You know, look at this. Like I, I'm, I'm working with like three feet by three feet of space. But I'm not giving up. Look at this. Let's turn. Let's turn this. Let's turn this 32-inch TV on. <laughs> you guys, too much. Too much. <laughs> what am I doing here? Okay, now we gotta turn this thing on. Oh, look at that. Tell me you don't love it. Come on, guys. Nobody else is doing this on the internet. Only Vivian. Cause she is a motherfucking professional. Look at my nasty ass vent. <laughs> Will this go all the way? I can't see what's happening. <gasps> Ew, I don't know what that is. Oh my God, if I see something nasty in here, I'm gonna throw up and I'm gonna throw away my dryer. Like I can't handle certain things. I'm just gonna throw away the whole fucking dryer. Let's see what comes with this lint lizard. What? Okay, everything just fell out of it. Okay, so. You get this hoe. Wait a second. The infomercial said that this thing had a three foot, is this three feet? It said it had a three foot hose. What, what the hell? They made this seem like it was, it's the most vacuums over three and a half feet long, cleans deep. Mm-hmm, it sure does. Okay, this is the hosey part of it. This is, I guess, the vacuum attachment, and then this is the, I don't know yet. Let me look at the picture. <laughs> Why do I have two of these? Oh, okay, so it's like this. You gotta snap them like that, and then you snap it like this, and then you snap. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna figure it out in a second. Let's open it to see. There you go, Mr. Bullhead. Both headlifts put their logo on everything, right? 
I think we just screw these on like this, right? <laughs> Look how easy that is. Okay, you can control the flow of the suction. How? This is kind of cheese balls. Okay, you guys probably really can't see it, but on this little thing here, it says that you can control the suction. I don't know, oh, right there, look, can you see it? It says suction control. There it is, there's a little, that's as much control as you're getting right there. So you just snap these on. It's made well, it's a nice like plastic. Then you'll just attach these two things, like here it is. This is what you attach to the vacuum hose, but here's the deal. I can see that this is a good gadget and I think a lot of people need it before I even use it because I do think that, you know, you could cause a fire with this lint stuff. Like that's for real. But I'm not paying 15, 20 bucks for this thing. I think the price that Bed Bath & Beyond has it at for $9.99 plus your 20% coupon, I think that's totally worth it. But 15, 20 bucks, I don't know about that. I'll just shove the vacuum attachment down there, right? I don't have to buy a $20 attachment just for that. And wait a second. Also get Dust Lizard. Oh, for a separate fee. I thought I was gonna get another dust one because that freaking sticker right there made it seem like this comes with it. You have to order it and you have to pay a separate fee. I got suckered right there. I should know better. You know how many hundreds of these things I've tried? I know they, they charge another fee for everything. Why am I playing like I am an amateur rookie? So as a professional, I gotta protect my face and my nose and my lungs and everything. So now I gotta protect my beautiful hands. For that, I got these sexy ass pink gloves. Look how cute these are. Remember rule number one, Keep it sexy at all times, even when you're cleaning out the lint in your dryer. So this is my Dyson vacuum. All you do is attach it like that. I love it and I hate it. <laughs> the deal is this thing is so flimsy that I can't like point it in the right direction. So if I'm like trying to get a certain spot, it's like, I don't know, I can't. It needs to be a little bit firmer or it needs to allow me to like shape it. You know, have you seen those tripods where you, you can kind of like shape it and it'll stay? If it was like that, this thing would be genius like i'm over here fighting to get one little spot of lint in there that is like in a weird angle let's grab this little guy again and let me show you what it looks like now. one little spot right here that i just could not reach for the life of me with that damn thing but the other side over here it is squeaky clean because i got all the lint out i was very excited about that i think with a little bit more time and maybe getting used to that hose i could probably get 90% of that lint out of there. Looks good. So here are my final thoughts on this thing. I actually like it a lot. I would recommend it to you. You're just gonna have to get used to using this kind of flimsy tube to get into all the nooks and crannies within the dryer because it's so flimsy that it's kind of flopping around in there. So, but it does work. It did get so much lint out of this dryer. Now, at the price that I bought it for, $9.99 plus my 20% coupon, that was a steal. I think 100% go get one, but at the $15 or $20, mm, I would wait until it was on sale. But I would definitely recommend it. I'm gonna give the Lint Lizard four Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool As You Know television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Vera is hot. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> I was just looking at my nose.